Today on CCX News, a New Hope family's significant loss. What a fire took away that is much needed and difficult to replace. After a fire this weekend, one family's essential piece of equipment is now a charred husk. But as Kevin Miller explains, the community has stepped in to help. The Jacobsons heard a loud knocking on their door just before 4 a.m. on Saturday morning. A cop came to the back door, so they were both pounding on the doors. And then once my husband, he saw the flame through the big window in the back, then we got moving. The flames they saw came from their garage. The family left the house and watched it safely as it burned. No one was hurt, but something important was destroyed. We use it pretty much always. The handicap accessible van inside. To go to uh, community events. The family used it to bring their 27-year-old son Lucas anywhere he needs to go. All kinds of different restaurants. The van was completely destroyed in the flames, so a family friend asked to help by setting up a GoFundMe campaign. She called and asked if she could set that up and we're like, no, we didn't, you know, that's too weird and whatever. And um, But then she convinced us. And since Sunday, it's taken off. The goal was to raise $25,000 for the family. As of Wednesday, they've raised nearly 28. It's overwhelming, really that people want to support. And I, I know, you know, a lot of friends and family, but then people that you don't even know are giving. You know, it's, it's amazing. The family says the donations will help them with the nearly $70,000 cost to buy a new van. And even though their garage is filled with charred metal and soot, their hearts are filled with feelings of gratitude. You wish you could repay them, and you don't know how, but hopefully in the future we can pay it back. Our little thank you cannot express what this means. I mean, this means mobility. In New Hope, Kevin Miller, CCX News. Students from Cooper High School are speaking up, testifying at the state capitol that they want to see a return of school resource officers to their school. Me as a black teen woman in high school, Safety is an important factor in my life. I love to be able to walk into my schools and feel safe and know that there are SROs present who are watching me to make sure that I am safe constantly throughout the day until I leave out that building. I think everyone knows and can agree that police officers in schools should be about breaking down barriers if that's race or gender or whatever it may be. But I think it's about community building. Representative Cedric Frazier of New Hope is chief author of the SRO bill, which aims to restrict prone restraints in schools, the type that killed George Floyd. His new bill aims to eliminate confusion created by legislation approved last year, causing departments to pull their officers out of schools. But some questions remain. Brooklyn Park Police Chief Mark Bruley says some language in the new bill could be counterproductive. Taken literally, this language would require every known criminal violation to result in charges and the youth being sent to the criminal justice system. This is in complete opposition to the historical success that SROs have had by circumventing the criminal justice system and working with school administration to get better outcomes for our children. Amendments to provide extra clarity to the SRO legislation are currently being considered in House committees. One Republican amendment to bring SROs back failed Tuesday on a 9-6 to six committee vote. Valentine's Day is all about love, and what better way to profess your devotion to your partner than by saying, I do. Wednesday afternoon at the Hennepin County Government Center, 23 couples, including two from the Northwest Metro, exchanged vows and made lifelong commitments to one another. This is part of an annual Valentine's Day tradition where Hennepin County judges perform free wedding ceremonies. Friends, family members, and curious onlookers can witness the festivities firsthand. Right before the ceremony, I remind them of what an honor it is to be able to be a part of their day. This is their special moment in time, and to be able to be just a little part of that is a special um, and sacred honor that I get to have. So it's always a joy to be a part of this. The Valentine's Day wedding tradition began in 2013. To date, Hennepin County judges have performed more than 275 free weddings since the program started. Valentine's Day is also a busy time for flower shops. 
at Donato's Floral, the phone just kept ringing and they had fun with it. The Maple Grove Flower Shop prepares hundreds of flower packages for pickup and delivery. Plus, they get about 100 walk-in customers on Valentine's Day. Co-owner Anna Donato Ghani says this is their biggest sales day of the year. She says supporting a small business with that personal touch goes a long way. You know, our founder was my brother Victor, Victor Donato. Um, and he was incredible. Like his hands and his art um, and his vision were amazing. And we get to keep that vision going at Donato's. Donato Ghani says their most popular arrangement isn't actually roses, it's their farmhouse box. That's a combination of orchids, roses, and seasonal flowers. Valentine's Day this year also coincides with Ash Wednesday, which marks the beginning of the Christian season of Lent. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. A pastor from Maple Grove Lutheran Church set up in the parking lot to distribute ashes drive through style. This is the 11th year the church has gone with this format, which is a quick and easy way to provide blessings to folks who can't make it in for the traditional Ash Wednesday service. What I enjoy is just the opportunity uh, to help people connect with God. And it's normally it's not our members that come. It is people driving on the busy highways on this corner. If you're wondering about the meaning of the ashes, they serve as a symbol of mortality. And it's a way to remind people that each day is an opportunity to make a difference in the world. Spots in the state girls hockey tournament are up for grabs this week as section champions are crowned. For the third season in a row, the Maple Grove and Champlain Park Coon Rapids girls hockey teams met in a section 5AA semifinal. Jay Wilcox has highlights from Tuesday night's meeting. Third seed Champlain Park Coon Rapids hoping to upset second seed Maple Grove in the section 5AA girls hockey semifinals. It's Kelsey Olson to Bella Shipley, back to Olson and then back to Shipley who pops the shot in as Maple Grove takes a 1-0 lead 10 minutes into the game. Early in the second, Shipley turns the corner and comes down the slot to score again for a 2-0 Crimson lead. A big night for Shipley. But Champlain Park Coon Rapids answers. Sydney Burnovic's shot is saved, but Lily McKenzie buries the rebound just 10 seconds after Shipley's goal and it's 2-1. Less than 30 seconds later, though, good work by Hadley Baker as she sets up Shipley for the third of her four goals on the night, and it's 3-1 to one Crimson. Late in the period, a mini breakaway for Baker, and she shovels the backhander in to make it 4-1 to one Maple Grove. And they add four more in the third, starting with the Abbey Oakland goal. Maple Grove pulls away for an 8-1 to one win to set up a rematch with Centennial Spring Lake Park in the final Friday. Jay Wilcox, CCX Sports. The high school boys hockey regular season wraps up this week. Hopkins is hoping to pick up some momentum on their home ice before playoffs begin. Ches Moots has highlights from their game against New Ulm. The Royals' final three games before the postseason are all at the Hopkins Pavilion. They beat Breck last week, now trying to knock off New Ulm. First period, Hopkins on the power play. Malachi Berry shuffles in the puck on the rebound. Royals take a 1-0 lead into the first intermission. Hopkins got up 2-zip, but the Eagles storm back. Nice backhand pass from Caden Larson to Austin Euchre. New Ulm on the board. Then the puck is loose near the crease. It's Euchre again, crashing in and lighting the lamp to even the game up at two. The Royals answered back to close the second, then 28 seconds into the third. Bo Stevens wrister, Hopkins up four to two. And later in the third, Weston Schelkenberg with the icing on the cake. Quick release, top shelf, his 27th goal on the year. The Royals win their second in a row, defeating New Ulm five to two. In Hopkins, Chaz Moots, CCX Sports. The Maranatha Christian Academy boys basketball team is in a three-way fight for first place in the Skyline Conference and look to stay at the top Tuesday night. The Mustangs at home looking for their 12th conference win, hosting Crystal Ray Jesuit. First offensive set of the game for the Mustangs and Grayson Rennie dials up a three-pointer. The start of a big night for the senior. Quick transition bucket here. The trial McCrimmon ahead to Drew Ballantyne for the layup and foul. Valentine nets 13 points in the game. Mustangs lead at 15 to one. Crystal Ray chips away. Julian Jones getting to the rack with a nice little fake, lays in two. 
His team within 12 at 26-14. McCrimmon closes the first half by draining a three right before the buzzer. He and the Mustangs head to the locker room with a 40-24 lead. Second half, Valentine on the run. He spots an open Rennie in the corner for a three. 26 points of the game for Rennie. Maranatha up by 25. Valentine curls into the lane and then beats his defender with a baby hook shot for two more. As Maranatha goes on to win big, 84-46 the final. The Mustangs are now 12-1 on the skyline and 16-5 overall. In Brooklyn Park, John Jacobson, CCX Sports. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku.